Deshma, you're looking very glamorous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're too kind. So it is my pleasure to welcome a personal favorite of mine, the extremely talented, articulate, and wonderful Ms. Shabana Azmi to Showbiz India once again. Great to see you. It's my absolute pleasure to be with you once again. So Shabana ji, this movie, I saw it the other day and enjoyed it. It's uh, quite layered, especially South Asians. We all have conservative people who believe in love marriage opposed to arranged marriage, as they call it in our community. What is your personal take on arranged marriages? You know, in earlier, earlier, I would have uh, no patience with the idea. In fact, I used to be quite horrified uh, by it. But when you look at the statistics, People who are in arranged marriages or assisted marriages, are uh, there's not that much difference between those who have had love uh, marriages. And within the circumstances now, I feel, I, I, I think the idea of assisted marriage works because all it does is it makes you meet somebody your parents think uh, you would have some kind of connection with and then if it doesn't work it doesn't work really but um, i look at it with much greater kindness than i used to do when i was younger my childhood friend just decided to have an assisted marriage isn't this a massive crazy gamble i've seen it work oh is that grinder anyone we should meet no just like that very like her it's love at first skype we all need other people what do you want for you uh, this movie is a very matriarch-centric movie. You play the matriarch where you're very elegant, but very strong when it comes to your opinions. I don't mm -hmm. think you're like that in real life, or are you? Uh, yes and no. The main difference actually is that, as you know, that I come from a liberal, progressive uh, family. And uh, but, uh, Aisha, the person, is, you know, on the cusp of modernity and tradition. And so she's trying to be, uh, but she also gets pulled back in tradition. That for an actor is a very interesting uh, place to be in. When you're trying to wean your way around that rather than a clear idea of, okay, this is this kind of person. Also, the fact is that I know many women like Aisha. And um, so they, they dress up and they had all this thing. But inside there, this tradition that... But under that all, there is warmth and there is love. And that's what makes Aisha who she is. And that's what makes her sort of embrace this whole family that I find very charming. You know why the prophet said, paradise lies at the mother's feet? There is no love greater than a mother's love for her child. Your happiness, it's all that matters. And there's a very beautiful nuance in this film about how people are kind of pretending in their lives. Years ago, I interviewed you, one of my early interviews, and one thing you said to me, stuck to me, was that you told me you have to listen to people what they don't say, rather than what they say. And I found yeah. that very interesting. Talk to me about how this pretend makes it feel for you. You see, I, I'm far less judgmental than I was earlier. Okay, um, uh, I think it's it's part of growing uh, older, of having experience, of not rushing to make uh, judgments. I think part of this pretending that we say comes from an idea of sophistication, of culture, of uh, almost uh, respect which I would never have even thought of that I would use these words for it. I would just say, what nonsense, just cancel it all. But in today's day, I feel that's where it comes from. So what cultures do is they make you pretend to make the truth more palatable. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it is, it's a tricky thing because it can become false. And that would be wrong, you know. So again, it's it's treading that uh, balance. For instance, I would tell you that um, if I if I uh, meet you and I smile at you and say, "Nice to meet you," 
it might not be that it's particularly nice to meet you but i just say it as a warm thing to say right now if you 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 can't just strip me down and say she said nice to meet you but actually she didn't mean it so it's still part of growing up which you, you 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 sort of keep keep changing the way you think what did you think of her in real life she's great yeah but um did you fancy her <laughs> so please don't say that on camera come on <laughs> So nice. Fine. And are you nervous about the Mendy tonight? Actually, just tell me what that is. Well, in Pakistan, we really like to draw out the wedding celebrations. It's over. It's over three days. Uh, and first is the Mendy, which is tonight. So speaking of growing up, one of my favorite childhood movies was Masoom. And of course you were in it and uh, Shekhar Kapoor directed it. You're working together after 40 years. How do you think he has evolved over time as a director? Shekhar always always uh, had a way with actors. He treats actors with a lot of love and he doesn't impose his view. But what he does is he coaxes, he cajoles he inspires but he makes you he make, he makes you get where he wants to be at in a way that is unobtrusive and uh, definitely non threatening that quality in him i think has strengthened over the years and if you watch his films i mean if you watch elizabeth and see what he's done with kate blanchett it's just completely stunning so Shekhar the thing is that I've been friends with Shekhar over these years so for me it was like immediately falling back into something that was not alien at all uh, except I think that he's become a little more caring and a little more a gentle uh, now which I like And how was your experience with the beautiful Emma Thompson? Well, I fell in love with her the minute I saw her. Okay, it was just too wonderful because of the very heavy protocol, COVID protocol, at that time, and uh, so we weren't allowed to go to each other's homes and stuff like that. But we cheated. So I said <laughs> we cheated, and we said, okay, we were supposed to meet in the park. and then the two of us said oh, let's not meet in park come and meet me in my house and so she came and i remember the first message that i got from her was i'm a little early i'm like running and i saw her there and i just it was just a spark that just went so beautifully i can't tell you because firstly there's so much respect that i have for her not only as an actor but also as somebody who has done really important uh, human rights work So that's a lot that we have in common. If I send you some pictures where the two of us, the first time you meet, are laughing. I mean, it's just like electricity between the two of us. She, but she's also an extremely generous actor, generous co-star. She doesn't play her stardom at all, which is very English. She's very, very English. Well, I'm asked to wrap up as you know I could talk to you for hours. But if you would yeah. send me those pictures, I would love to if it is I'll okay. I'll send you. I'll send you. So Shubhana ji, in conclusion, what else are you working on that we can look forward to watching? At the moment the next film apart from what I've got to do with it will be Karan Johar's Rocky or Rani ki prem kahani that is Ranbir Singh and Alia Bhatt and the main there Jaya Bachchan and my Self. So it's a full on Karan Johar film, but I think it's going to be a big hit. And then apart from that, the next release will be Ghumar, which is R Balki's film, and I play a grandmother who is a cricket uh, lover, and she encourages her granddaughter to play uh, cricket. I know nothing about cricket, 
so when you see that film if you are convinced that i do know something about cricket then then i'm a good actor <laughs> I'm sure you will be. Well, thank you so much. It's good to see you again. All right. Thank you. Lots of love. I used to think that I was scared of being with the wrong person, but now I realize that I'm scared of being with the right person.